Today we'll look at two related features in Affinity, artboards and slices. Artboards are a great way to contain multiple versions of the same design in one document, and slices allow you to export them any way you want with one click. So let's first look at artboards. I have Affinity open here on my Mac. I'm in the Vector Studio, but these concepts will work with any of the studios. Let's create a new document. I'll select File, New. I'll make it A4 Landscape, but it doesn't really matter yet. And I'll click Create Document. Now by default, we have this one canvas here, but we can actually add more canvases called artboards to our document. Now in the Vector Studio, we have this icon here, and this is the artboard tool. It's here by default, but you can add it to the other studios if you want to. So if I click on it, you can see I get these controls up here. And there are these controls around my canvas. Now, confusingly enough, I can't use it to resize my artboard when it's a new document. But if I click and drag my cursor, I can create a new artboard. And I can click and drag to create more artboards. From here, I can work on each artboard separately. You can see them in the layer stack here. Let me select artboard one. Let's bring in an SVG for this document. I'll select file, place, I'll choose this logo SVG file. I'll click open. And I can click and drag here. And I have that logo. I got these graphics from Creative Fabrica. It's a great place to download unlimited vectors and fonts. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now you can see if I select Artboard 1 here in my layer stack, I can actually resize it. Now it's not actually resizing the content inside of it. If you want to do that, when you have the artboard selected, uncheck this lock icon here. And then I'll resize everything proportionally inside. If I let go of shift, I can put it in different proportions. Now maybe I want to make multiple designs here. Let's say I want to have a business card for a personal trainer. And then maybe I also want to have another image that's the social media graphic. So let's work on that here. For this artboard one, I'll call it business card. Let me change my document back to inches. And with the business card selected, let's go back to transform. And let's lock the size again. And let's make it 3.5 by 2 inches. Now we can select our logo inside here and resize it. Let's put it in position. And let's create a simple business card. And here we go. Now maybe we also want just a square icon for social media. Maybe an Instagram profile photo of our logo here. Let me select my other artboard. I'll move it over. And let's make this a perfect square. So I'll make it five inches by five inches. I'll copy this logo. I'll paste it in my other artboard here. Let's make it bigger. Now Instagram logos are a circle. Let's just create a little template so we know where our circle will be. Create a circle. Let's make it five by five. I'll center it in here. And this helps give me an idea if my logo is inside the safe area. And let's add a background. I'll just make it blue. Let's make it a gradient just for variety. And we can hide our circle. And let's say we want one more version that's just black and white. With my artboard selected, I'll just copy it. Let's paste it over here. And I'll remove the background. Let's rename them. Let's call this one Instagram. And maybe the other one is gonna be our Facebook logo. It's nice to see we have these three different designs. And by the way, if you want, you can also put things outside of your artboard. They can be nice for references or just some temporary graphics. So for example, if you want to take your logo, maybe you want to have a version out here and just keep it on the side for later usage. That's also a possibility, but I'll just delete that right now. So now the question is, how do I get something actually useful out of this document? I have these three designs. Can I make them separate files? Well, the most flexible way to do this is with the Slice Studio. We'll look at this in a moment. Let's look at how to use the traditional export tool though. So to start, I'll select File. Then I'll say Export. And I can choose the file type here. We'll say PNG. Now over on the right, you see I have all these options. And one of the key options is Area. So right now it says the Facebook one. I can change it to the Instagram one. I can select the business card artboard. I can also do the whole document. That will output all our artboards together. Let's first just do our business card. I'll select business card. I'll leave it as PNG. I'll click export. I'll call it business card 01. 
Save. And now if I open that document, I'll choose File Open, bco1.png, you can see this is what it looks like. So we exported our artboard as a single file. Let's do that again, but now let's do the entire document. I'll select File, Export, Export. I'll choose Whole Document, Export. I'll call it Whole. And let's open that one. File, Open, Whole.png. And you can see the whole document is here, all the artboards together. Not something I use often, but maybe it's something you want to use. Now using that export method, we had to export our files one by one. This is kind of tedious. What if we wanted to do it all with one click? Well, we can use the Slice Studio for that. Now by default, it's not shown here. But if I click these three dots, you should see this option for Slice. And then you want to enable it over here by clicking this button. So I'll click this, I'll close. Now I'll click on Slice over here. Now we have this view of all our artboards. And what it did is it automatically created a slice for each artboard. A slice is an area of your document that you want to export. Typically you want a slice to be an entire artboard, but you can also export part of it too if you want. We'll look at that in a bit. For now, let's just keep it simple. So if I look at this here, down over here I have a slices tab. So I'll click the slices, and you can see the three slices in my document. So they each have the name, they took the name of the artboard to begin with, Facebook, Instagram, business card. And over here, you can see what it corresponds to. There's Facebook, Instagram, and business card. Now, if I expand the these slices, you can see the default way it will export. So Facebook will export as a PNG at one times the size, and it'll, call, it'll be called Facebook.png. And if we look at the other ones, we can see it also has that same behavior. So what I'll do now is I'll click this button that says Export Slices. So let's click that. It's gonna ask me where I want them to go. Let's go up the directory. Let's create a new folder called Slices. You only have to do this the first time. I'll click Create. Now I'll click Export. And now on my computer, I'll open this Slices directory. And you can see all three files are there. There's my business card, the Facebook logo, and the Instagram version. So I did all of that with just one click. Let's go back to the Slices tool. Now there are a lot of options to customize the output here. Let's expand the Facebook one for a second. As you can see, I can customize the path. There's a builder option here, which you don't really need to do much with. I just ignore it. But we can also choose the file type. I'll leave this as PNG right now. Here we have a 1x size version. This is going to be the size of your output. And finally, you're gonna see what the name is gonna be. Now, if you click on the name, you'll notice that it's dynamically built from these components here. So it's gonna be slice name and scale suffix. You can add other parameters to it. You can also add custom text. So I'll type design underscore. I'll click done. And here you can see what the name is going to be, design underscore facebook.png. The reason it's called that is if we click on it, it has design, slice name is the name from the artboard, Facebook. Scale suffix is only shown if it's greater than one. So let's click done. Let's add another version. I'll click plus here. Now we have our 2x version. So this is gonna be twice the resolution. And I can add a 3x version as well. Let's remove that design part. I'll click done. So these are gonna be the PNG versions. If I click this plus here, we can choose another file type. Let's scroll down. Let's do JPEG high quality. And I have the exact same options. I can do a 2X JPEG version. I can customize the name. And I can continue doing this for the other ones as well. Let's say for business card, I wanna have an SVG version. I'll click the plus here. Let's change it to SVG. And just for fun, I'll give it my, another name. Let's say cool SVG done. So that's what the output will be there. And now if I say export slices, I'll put it into the same directory. I'll click export. And it's giving me a warning that some files will be overwritten. You can choose to not overwrite them by unchecking the box here. Or you can just say export new items only. I'll just export everything. And now if we go back to our directory, you can see all the different files here. We have our PNGs, the SVG one I created, the JPEGs. So it's all done with one click. And of course, as you're working on your document, you can go back to your vector studio. You can change things. Let's say you want the background of this to be red now. Some type of red gradient. Let's do this. If I go back to the slice studio, it's all updated there. And I just have to click the export slices button once to export everything. And up here under export options, you can select the defaults for your file types. So when you choose PNG, you can choose what you want for the default PNG file. 
Let's look at JPEG. You can choose what you want for the quality to be as the default and lots of other settings. So there's tons of stuff you can customize. Something we can also do is manually create slices in our document. So I have this photo here. Maybe I wanna create a square version and a rectangular version. So I'll go into the Slice Studio here. I'll click Slice. And over here, I have the option of creating a new slice. This is the Slice tool. Let's create a square around her face. I'll call it Square. And maybe I want a tall version as well. So I'll create another one. Let's make it like this. And let's call it Tall. And if you want to move them around or resize them, select the Slice tool again, and just click on the blue header to reposition it. Or you can click on the corners to resize it. Let's move it there. Let's move this other one here. Now, if you want to change this slice size exactly, you need to use the Transform panel. It's not shown by default here for some reason, but you can easily enable it. Go to Window, General, Transform. Now, I'll select this square slice. As I suspected, it's not exactly a square. It's 1210 by 1207. Let's make it 1210 by 1210. Subtle difference, but it is a square now. Put this over here. And I can look at my slices here. If I expand them, I can see the names of them. They're JPEGs. Maybe I want them to be PNGs instead. I'll click Export Slices. Let's give it a new folder, Slices 2. Let's export. And I'll open those files. And in fact, you can see one is the tall version and one is the square version. So that's an overview of artboards and how they can be used with slices. It's an easy way to have multiple designs in the same document and export them with one click. If you have any affinity topics you want to see a video on, let me know down in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.